Hi, Denise. My name's Kyle. I just wanted to reach out and make you a video that can bring you in the business some value. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can personally optimize your website to where you can drive in more traffic and generate more leads for your business. So I have three tips I want to share today. My first tip is the importance of content and keywords. So Google doesn't care about how awesome or beautiful websites look. They care about what kind of content's on the page. The websites that have the most content are going to be the ones that have the most authority on the topic. So I recommend that you have at least 1,500 words of content on your home page. And the most important reason why you have so much content is because you need to have buyer intent keywords inside your content. So when Google goes and crawls your page, they can find these keywords and they can rank you accordingly in the Google search engine. So this tool here is called Ares. It's a paid tool and buys data from Google. And these are just some examples of many of keywords that you can put inside your content. So when a person goes and Googles these terms, they can potentially find your company. So I looked up uh, remodeling. See, so a kitchen remodeling, Reno and 200 people are searching that each month. You have remodeling contractors, Reno and home remodeling. You even have remodel keywords like bathroom remodel, Reno, 150 searches a month. Remodel Reno, you're going to be able to find buyer intent keywords for all of your services that you provide and buyer intent keywords for all of your service areas as well. My second tip for you is making sure, or not my second tip, but add on to the first one. One other way you can utilize these keywords is by making sure that your, key, that your pictures are saved correctly. Right now when Google crawls this page, they see it saved as Kitchen 2. Instead, I would have this picture saved as your as your business name because branding is important, and I'd have a buyer intent keyword behind your branding. So it looks something like Masterfield Construction Construction LLC Bathroom Remodeling Reno or whatever buyer intent keyword that you're trying to be found for. Now, my second tip is backlinks, and backlinks is what gives your website power, and it's what drives your website to the top of the organic section of Google. And backlinks are links throughout the web that, when clicked on, will bring the user back to your website. It's essentially like having a popularity contest and the person that has the most backlinks wins. However, Google is now leaning more towards quality versus quantity. So they want to see backlinks that are relevant to you. So they want to see backlinks coming from other, other deck building websites or home improvement websites that have links linking people back to your website. Now, AREFs also allows us to see what's going on behind the behind the scenes of websites. And I do want to mention that there are free tools for backlinks and keyword research. So if you just Google backlink checker or keyword finder, you'd be able to find all the free tools you need to be able to do this yourself. So Masterfield Construction, this is your website. You have a URL of 17. That's how powerful your website is. You have a domain rating of 0.4. That's how trustworthy the website is. You have over two people coming onto your website each month through an organic search. You're being found for 19 keywords. And you have 21 referring domains giving you a total of 70 backlinks. These backlinks here is what's giving you your website your power and your trust. And you want these two numbers to be as high as possible and as close together as possible as well. You want to shoot for a ratio of one. So I pulled up the Google search bar and I just looked up bathroom remodeling Reno. This is Dreammaker Bath and Kitchen. I'm not real familiar with the company, but I can make the assumption that I'm sure it's a franchise. Looks like a franchise website. But they're in the number one spot, and I looked up to see what kind of numbers being in the number one organic spots bring it in for them. And they have a URL of 16 to power, a domain rating of 36 to trust. They have over 240 people coming onto their website each month through an organic search. If you take 10% of that's turning into a lead, that's another 24 leads a month for a remodel job. Now, they're being found for over 400 keywords, and they have 184 referring domains, giving them a total of 1,600 backlinks. Now, if these backlinks here are good enough to rank their website to the top, it's good enough to do the same for your website as well, as long as you have your content and keywords in place. And this is something you can do with all of your top competitors. You can take all your top competitors' backlinks, and you can get them linking back to you. Just go to the referring domains, and each and every one of these websites has a link linking people back to their website. And like I said, you can do the same thing with yours. You just go into each individual site. Some, you just might have to create a profile. You can add your website that way. Others, you might have to go to the contact us, email the owner, and they might hit you back with a small fee to be able to advertise on their website. Now, my last tip for you is get to the number one spot in the Google Map Pack, and that's this area here. It's one of the best spots to be in. 40% of the searches on Google click in the number one spot in the Google Map Pack. 30% of the searches on Google 
Click in the number one spot in the organic section. How can you get to this top spot here? You need more citations than your top competition has. And all a citation is is your business name, your business address, and your business phone number listed in directories throughout the web. Some examples of a directory would be places like Yelp, White Pages, Yellow Pages, Better Business Bureau, even social media is considered a directory nowadays. So Denise, I hope this short video was helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out. Uh, if not, thank you for watching. You have an awesome day.